What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we got a Jojo stand from Stone Ocean. We got Diver Down. So, kind of like a snorkeling theme going on. So I'm on landscape paper, use pencil eraser, hit pause, but I go too fast. Haven't watched all of the new one yet. Um, watch the first episode, I've got to sit down and watch the rest maybe this weekend. Enjoying it so far, not too bad, not too bad. I will reserve my opinion <laughs> for later on. So, um, let's start with that helmet, right? So, we've got these two points kind of in the middle of our page where his chin is, right? So, and you sort of put your dots kind of there and there. And then we're gonna curve this around, right? So this is like his mouth, but it's like a gap in his helmet. So it goes up around and then back down. Right, and then this kind of has a point here and then goes around this way. Like that same thing over here, like so. And then this will go diagonal that way, diagonal that way. So then this goes out for his head around and it's always difficult to do sort of round bald heads but we do our best comes around to about there and he's got this antenna on this side of his head right so it takes like a chunk out of his head here and then this will keep going down into there so this antenna kind of sticks out here comes around into the bottom and it seems to have a couple of detail lines on it. So like circle there, comes out this way. There, there. I always love when a new Jojo anime comes out because they simplify the drawing of the character compared to the anime. So it makes it much easier to draw them. He's got this antenna that sticks out. I mean, is that just me? But I think it's true. I think they did a good job with these stands in this one. This antenna kind of sticks up there like that. So then in there, he's got some extra circles and lines, right? So if you have a coin or a compass or something to draw around, something that was the right size, it would help draw in circles. Or you can try, try to do it freehand, which is, it's good to kind of challenge yourself anyway. Freehand circles are never easy. One there, one here. So these are like his eyes, right? And then there's one above, one below on each side. There, 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 and there. And then you just color them in black. So while we're coloring things black, we may as well do his mouth as well. So he's got like scuba gear, but it sort of stops here, right? And in here is all dark as well. like so so then we have like cheekbones kind of lines right so it comes out like this and comes down into there it's something similar on this side so sort of starts up near this eye right, and down and in and it comes down like this and there could be some hatching just on it like so. And then this goes up like that. Like 
so maybe some more hatching just on the side of the head just in there and then we have the letter D so this will go big sort of curving line like this right so it goes out and kicks up a little bit more on the bottom right comes down to a spike down here I don't know what the font is but it's like a real calligraphy sort of style letter D like this and then this will come up in goes back in towards his head this way down across up and then we'll bring it back this way down out and it's got like a couple of spikes out here we just go back in two or three times and we'll bring it up to there and there's some more details just inside so an extra gap here and another one on this side like so so that's for the D and then you can sort of add a bit of a shadow to the bottom by thickening up your line see this so it kind of makes it look like it's raised up off his head a bit when you when you thicken up the line to add a shadow And if you just do it on one side, kind of like that. Maybe some hatching here. All right, so we'll go down and start doing the scuba gear and his body. So he's got like a purple tank here. So it's just a rec rectangle that comes across. Like that. And then there's tubes coming out of it. So you got like another layer here. And then he has a collar, but they sort of come out from the tube. So we we'll start the tube. So tubes start to come out here, right? They go behind his shoulders, so we kind of have to draw his shoulders first. But we'll just start them. And so we, they start coming out here, and then this collar comes around. Like that, and then the inside line just there. We maybe can see like a little bit of his neck or something just coming down that way. So then trapezius diagonal like so. And his arms kind of click together. So we've got like this comes down to his chest, right? And so the chest line then comes out, down around to here, and then chest line comes out, down around this way, and then it kind of goes up and down, curves down like that. And then collarbones across the middle. Out that way and another line back here and some of these can have shadows in them so this goes up down that way and back and they can be dark in here maybe another line under the collarbone here like so and then we got some more letter D's right these are kind of easier so I'll line down like so two spikes and then it just goes around like that and then another smaller D on the inside and two lines here that kind of looks like a cat laughing <laughs> that's what it looks like 
<laughs> uh, let me do same thing here. It really does look like a cat laughing. I can't unsee that now. Oh my god, Killer Queen. <laughs> right. Um, this comes around again. And then here. And then two gaps. Yeah, they look like cat's faces to me. And then chest muscle sort of line here. And you know, in JoJo, sometimes these chest muscles can have these shadows hatching lines just on the bottom here. Right, so then the arms and shoulders, right? So as I said, they kind of, they have these joints, right? So they go one, two, three. And then it comes out around here and then this comes down that way right and then kind of joints inside here you know, one two three and it comes down into the chest and then these kind of joint lines like so and then the chest or the shoulder comes out this way right now the shoulders have these on them on the side as well but we can't see the whole letter we can only see the sort of spikes right so it like spikes out like this curves around there spikes in back down and then it will come around the front and there's like some extra lines inside so comes around like so into there we got to make it look like it's raised up off his arm right so 3d sort of thing right so Come around here, down. Spike in, down to there, right there. And then the gaps that we can see, just for these two cat's eyes. I'm just gonna call them cat's eyes from now on. You can see those there. And then the inside of the shoulder, where it comes down this way. Around here, down to there. Then it's bicep down there. There's like a little shadow in here, but I'll leave that. So this comes down there. And then there's a yellow stripe comes down his arm with another line on the inside down to there. Let me do this. Oh, no, sorry. There's another shoulder line just here. That. Let me do this over here. So two spikes, bring it down like that. Put a line there, 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 there. Cat size, one long, one short, and then the shoulder line comes in again around here. Bicep down that way, tricep down that way, and the yellow stripe that goes along the arm to there, and another sort of shoulder muscle line. Like so, and we might as well finish the body while we're here. So just the edge of his body. Oh wait. Yeah, that's right. Goes this way. And two more D's, as far as I can see. So another or cat's eyes. Two more spikes there, and then it goes around. They're smaller. Another one here there then a long cat's eye 
shortcut, so Kind of like that, right? And then we can see like, so it is like abdominal. So it's like a curved line here. And it's got another line on this coming around. And then, so it's like a rainbow sort of thing. Just these designs and patterns and stuff on the stomach. Okay, and we can see tanks, air tanks there. And if you want again to thicken up some parts of these D's to make them look like they're kind of raised off his chest, adding a shadow, kind of like that. Extra step, you don't have to do it, but sometimes I think it does make a difference. Okay, right, so then those tubes and tanks on the back of his shoulders, right? So they kind of go pretty vertical at first and then around and down. Right, and then the other side will go up to there and they go into two tanks, right? So tube like that. And then it has connector there and then the tank goes out and down here kind of in line with this nearly and then the other top of it just like that right let me do the same here kind of goes pretty straight up and down then like that and like tubes move and stuff so it doesn't have to be exactly like mine right? and then we got like a connector here see a line there and then this comes down and to there and then there's like all these lines on the tubes so like just this kind of thing carving around like so and then, boop. There. There. Like so. Right. That's it. That's how to draw Diver Down from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.